Hello, how are you all? It's Susan, and I am excited about this video today because I come to you with a bit of an offering, an opportunity, a challenge maybe. Um, I want to offer classes. I want to offer sequences. I want to offer teachings. I want to have a way to talk to you guys because I know a lot of you from kind of a lot of other pl a lot of places. So it's neat that I have this. Obviously, it's like, duh, Susan, this is the most obvious thing. But I have a little bit of a different spin on offering online classes where I don't actually get to be in direct contact with your bodies. And the thing about that one of the beautiful parts, there's so many, but one of the beautiful parts about the alignment system that I teach Bow Spring is um, that it asks of you accountability. One of the very, very first things is you cannot shortcut. There aren't any easy ways in. You don't get a leg up uh, because you came in really flexible and you don't get a leg up because you came in really strong. You get a leg up when you can meet the teachings halfway, when you can meet the deliverer, right? The messenger, the channel through which you are able to hear and able to learn. You are able to make progress and actually move forward in your practice when you take accountability for what you are being taught. And so as I put forward these videos on YouTube, I want them to stay free, let's be real, um, but Mama wants to get paid. So we've gotta have some followers here. And I think that could eventually work its way up to something, but really I want to engage with students of life. I wanna call the people who wanna keep humans weird, right? I want to engage with this broader community who really does want to be free from pain, explore uh, an evolutionary conversation, I really think that's what we're doing, and put themselves in a place to be in control of their own lives, to not blame or to not be a victim or to not have all the reasons why you didn't get to do the thing you wanted to do or have all the reasons why you didn't become the person you wanted to become. Being accountable to yourself is being accountable to, I think, your hopes and dreams being accountable to your desires, being accountable to yourself and how you feel whole. And that's a really big conversation. So as I put this out to the world and to whoever sees it, I would consider you sharing this to people that you think are already who really want to like keep the conversation going about, all right, what if we got it wrong? What if we're in a conversation that is how many years old? Not just in yoga, but in physical therapy, in modern postural alignment. What if we got it just one degree wrong, right? And, and there's a significant change between modern postural alignment and bowspring alignment. But think about it. If you start on a path that you have this really steady vision forward, and there's a moment along your path where you just took the tiniest wrong step, but you kept going, 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 and going, and going, for sure, thinking that you're headed in the right direction. The longer you go, the further you get away from your end target. So what if, a long time ago, or what if we looked at the body, we looked at it as one way, and we tried to stack the bones and straighten it all out, and we got it wrong. It's not that hard of a concept. <laughs> just looking at how we've evolved. There are the thinkers, there are the movers, there are the shakers, there are the people that don't stop looking and never stop asking questions. And I can guarantee you the people that are helping hold this system, and I'm telling you, we are strong people. But, and the more I meet Bowspringers across the planet, the more I'm just so excited to be in the company of this type of human. But we are people who are really asking questions and feeling a different feedback in our body that is somewhat universal at this point to the people that are um, experiencing it and practicing it. So look, I have a request for you. I'm gonna put teachings out there and it's not gonna look like a regular vinyasa class or modern postural yoga class. It might not even look like a whole Bowspring class that you would see at a studio and I so, so highly encourage you to take classes at Bowspring Studios whenever, wherever you can find them. Even if they're in the park on a Saturday night, take Bowspring classes wherever you hear about them because they're really exciting and people are teaching them in a really fun way. 
But whatever I offer on this, in this platform, how, however it comes out, and who knows, maybe I'll stop tomorrow because I find, I doubt that. But I really, you know, want this to be fluid and mobile and, and, and interactive because I know that if I can offer something that you guys pick up and you start to apply, you're gonna have questions, you're gonna have conversations, you're gonna have insights, you're gonna have experiences that you want to share, and I want to be a channel for you to share those and to ask questions and to be engaged in what we're doing with the body because it's fun and it's different, and why not? Open your eyes a little bit, look at something a little bit differently, and be accountable to your own teachings, to your own practice, to your own learnings, right? Be accountable to your own growth. No one else is gonna push you, right? Especially, you know, after you get in any sort of comfort zone and any sort of rhythm, if you stop asking questions, that's when things can stagnate and that's when you think you're going this direction, but you just shifted your focus for a little bit too long and you got off track. So, and tracks, they're not linear. So we gotta recognize that we might have to go back around and learn something over and over and over again, trust me, we will, in that repetitive way of really creating a new pattern and in that cyclical movement to find, to discover, to seek, to, to, the, to all the good stuff that makes us students of life. I think that that's really what this is going to be committed to and devoted to. And I'm so excited to share this and I'm excited that I have the excitement and, and, and the passion and the inspiration. And that's where I follow. That's what, I, what fuels me. And so I'm excited that there's people, it seems like, that are out there that are ready, that wanna learn and that are gonna go with me, even if it's five of us. Let's stay engaged, right? So um, to the Radiant Hearts and all of you, let your chest expand on all sides. And just take a look at something, if you are looking at a wall or see if you can get to a window, but get to a point where you can just look out at something, where you see a, bit, a little bit of a bigger picture, a little bit of more that's possible. And trust that it's there. And as you look out, find your breath and affirm to yourself that no matter what direction that you go in, there is always going to be more to learn. There is always going to be more to experience. There is always going to be more to receive. And let's keep opening our eyes to see what else is out there. Take a deep breath. And offer out whatever intention you have to continue with your own study of life as you breathe, breathe, breathe out. I hope you'll join me on this journey and watch that it's going to evolve. It will be unique and it will be radial. It will not be in a straight line. But I'm excited to be on this journey with you all. I offer the biggest love that I have to these teachings and to this connection with myself and to you, each of you. I'm super, super appreciative of your engagement, great for, grateful for your presence, your state of mind, your keeping humans weird commitment. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you soon. Namaste.